Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. You're staring at you on the set plane. I ain't worried about that thing, cause you got me feeling like the Wayne White in 03. Yeah, you and me, we got the heat. So bump all that anxiety. But you hit to the side of me. I feel like I'm gliding. And honestly, look, I don't want you saying that you had a better chance without me. My hair is looking a little wild right now, so please excuse my frizzy, messy hair today. I just took a shower and put my hair in a braid and this is the aftermath. So let's just uh, pretend that it's just behaving. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys my favorite pairs of shoes that I wear a lot in the summertime. And unfortunately, they are getting neglected this season just because of COVID-19. And I saw this meme on Facebook, which I thought was really, really hilarious that our shoes probably think that we're all dead because we are not using them at all. <laughs> So I thought that I would do this fun video showing off all of my shoes that I haven't been wearing because of COVID, but I have worn in previous years. Most of these pairs of shoes I have owned for more than a year, for so more than a season. I have loved them dearly and I would love to share them with you guys to kind of get inspired, maybe you know, be able to wear them at some point this year. And if not, we'll just wear them next year. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first pair of shoes I love and abuse during the summertime is a pair of white sneakers. And these specific ones are from Vans. They are the platform sneakers, I believe. So it has a little bit of an added height to it, which I absolutely love because I'm not the tallest girl in the party. And I like to add as much height to myself as possible makes everything just look a lot slimmer and more chic in my opinion i wish i had like two more inches on me vertically but unfortunately i don't so i go for shoes like this that kind of give me a little bit of a height boost i love these so much because they literally go with anything you can wear a skirt with it jeans shorts dresses rompers literally you name it and this will go with it it is obviously a white color so you have no issues matching because obviously this will match literally anything and everything in your closet i think these are so effortless but still looks feminine and i love a pair of sneakers like this because they don't look too chunky I do love the chunky dad sneaker look. However, I think that those are harder to style in my opinion. And you have to go for a specific vibe <laughs> with those. These ones you don't have to really think that much. And I love the versatility and the easiness of styling with these ones. So these are also pretty comfortable. I definitely think that Vans aren't the comfiest shoes in the world but they give me that chic look, but it is still relatively comfortable. Wow, I'm getting like a arm workout by doing these because I'm like holding them up. <laughs> these are like three pound weights. <laughs> the next pair of shoes that I really, really thoroughly abuse is my Via Spigas. I actually got this only a year ago, so I wore these so much last year, so it looks a little dirty, not gonna lie. I think I grabbed them either on Nordstrom Rack or you can get these on the Nordstrom website, but they usually always have a sale for these shoes. If you haven't noticed on my channel, I get all of my stuff while they're on sale because I just like to get a good deal, you know? I'm pretty sure I got these like $30 less than their retail price. Sorry, I think that's Charlie just coming in. Hi, sorry, I'm filming. Sorry guys, I am back. I just had a mini snack break and ate a large McDonald's fries and some chicken nuggets, which was absolutely amazing because I usually go with a vegan diet, but today I was just like, you know, the soul wants what it wants. And that's what I caved in today. I have a Waterloo to wash everything down. Love the sound of that. I believe we were talking about my VS Vigas. If I were to lose these today, 
I would immediately buy another pair because that's how much I love these. These are just so convenient. They just slip on and off and it does have a strap behind so your foot doesn't slip out of the shoe. I'm kind of obsessed with this strap design at the toe area and I just think these go with absolutely anything as well because of the beige color. Every time I go outside, I feel like I go for these unless I'm going for a more, I guess, specific look or a less casual look. But for everyday sandals, these are the bomb.com. I have a lot of sandals to show you because those are my absolute favorite type of shoes to wear during the summer, especially with more feminine pieces like dresses, rompers, places, and things like that. I have the same style of shoes in two different pairs because they are two different colors. You guys know me, if I'm obsessed with the style, I have to get them in multiple colors because I'm kind of obsessive like that. The first pair that I got were these black ones and these have the cross straps in the front. These are awesome. The heel is just the right amount of height to give me a little bit of a boost, but it's not uncomfortable at all. These I believe are about, I want to say two to two and a half inches. They are wedges, so they're super comfortable to wear. I can walk in the city all day in these and I'd be fine. Maybe the toes would get a little bit, you know, uncomfortable, but in terms of the actual you know, the height of the shoe, it doesn't bother me at all. This is like the perfect height for my liking for sandals. And I also have this in like a cork wood beige color as well, which goes with so many different outfits, but I, ooh, I almost dropped it, but I absolutely love these. This also has that chunky heel. It's the same style, just in different colors. I should probably, replace these shoes but i just cannot let go of these my heart is just unwilling to do that just yet these are the sandals from madewell and madewell shoes i've actually had some decent luck with i do know that some of their boots are a hit or miss that's what i've heard in the past from some people who've purchased them but i love their sandals i think these are so nice because they are neutral enough where it will go with any outfit that I wear but it's also a little bit spunky and fun with this thicker wide strap where the not shin what is it like the foot like the top of your foot is and it's silver but it's also still warm because of the warm like wooden wedge and warm brown color in all the leather pieces so i absolutely love these so much i wore these to death for about i want to say three years and they still are holding up but i do have to say that the leather piece in the front toe area they are a little miscolored so it's like the watermarks and everything because I haven't really been that careful with these. I will definitely snatch a new one if I find a similar style like this. These held up so nicely for the past three years and nothing is actually ripping or anything. It's just like stains and stuff. So I'm still gonna wear these until they break on me someday and knock on wood. These are awesome because they look a little bit dressier and polished, but they are also still like fun and summery. These are definitely the newest pair of shoes that I own. I recently got these from Everlane and this is from their Renit collection. I believe this is called the Mule in Renit or something like that. I absolutely love mules. I think they look very chic and vintage but also in a very modern way so i love the look that these give to all of my outfits off-white beige color will go with anything in your closet these are super comfortable and the quality seems really nice the material is a very flexible cotton material and my feet don't hurt in them i foresee myself wearing these all the time because I remember when I had a pair of mules that was exactly like this, but not this like ribbed re-knit material. And I got it from H&M. I believe that it was just like a cloth 
fabric as the material at the front lining but it honestly just got a lot of water stains on them because I didn't care for them as much because they were on the more affordable side. I think I got those for like maybe $20. These were definitely way more expensive than that, but I can tell that the quality is so, so nice and durable. It seems very sturdy. It just feels good quality for sure. I love Everlane shoes. I own two other shoes from Everlane and they've never let me down. So absolutely love these. My camera is about to die. So I'm just gonna do these really, really quick. These ones I have worn so much too. So it looks a little gross in the front. So sorry about that. But I love these strappy heels or strappy like sandals. These are so, so comfortable. I believe I snatched these during the anniversary sale at Nordstrom as well. And these are, it says Sabika Vintage Collection. I'm not sure, but I'll find them and try to link everything below. All of these shoes I have abused, <laughs> worn a lot or will wear a lot. These absolutely go with everything. This is a little bit of a different material because it is that suede material. So it gives a little bit of a different look and feel than the ones that I previously showed you, which are more that leather or cotton material. I love suede. I think this is a really good way to incorporate that kind of almost like a wintry texture into your summer wardrobe because obviously this is a sandal, it's a summer shoe, but I love mixing and matching patterns and textures and stuff like that for my outfit to make it a little bit more fun. The last shoe that I will be showing you is from Tom's and Tom's have amazing, amazing shoes. You guys, they are so durable and they last a super long time. And I love their philosophy of giving one pair of shoes to a child or to a person in need or something. I, I, I just really like their, their way of doing business. So I really love these shoes. This is a more gray tone shoe, which I really like because this goes with a lot of things, but they also go with a lot of cooler toned outfits of mine. And I need more shoes like that because obviously I own a lot of shoes that are beige or brown, things like that. So they're very warm. This one is definitely on the cooler side. This has like that, um, like, what is this? Basket weave material as the wedge same height i mean you guys have seen now that this is the height that i like for my body and super comfortable tom's shoes are hands down one of the most comfortable shoes i have ever owned in my life and these don't look as worn just because i don't wear a lot of cool tone outfits i am definitely more of a warm tone girl but i absolutely love these for those specific outfits so yeah these are a must-have for me that is everything you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I don't know by when because honestly, it seems like a really large goal because I don't know, like I think the first 1000 is like a huge deal and I would love to get to it. It would mean so, so much to me if you subscribe, if you haven't already and like this video. Every comment in the video also helps with um, just the engagement rate and everything for YouTube. So I would really, really appreciate if you would leave in the comments which one of these pairs of shoes were your favorite and I would love to interact with you guys down there. So that is everything. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.